So, I've been playing Gundam Battle Operation 2 lately, and there is this mobile suit that I really enjoyed playing. It is called the Hyakushiki, which is Japanese for Type 100. This mobile suit is available for sortie from 550 to 700 cost bracket, and is surprisingly durable for a raid type mobile suit. There are three ranged main weapons that are available for this suit, and each has its own niche. For those who want a fast projectile to target enemies on higher ground or need something with beam damage, the Hyakushiki Beam Rifle is your choice. Although it does suffer from a small magazine capacity. For those who prefer ballistic damage and targeting people's legs, there is the Clay Bazooka. Many people prefer this over the Beam Rifle due to its higher ammo capacity and ballistic damage at this cost bracket, since people tend to protect against beam weapons more in this cost bracket. The last is the Shrapnel Ammo Clay Bazooka, which has better sustained DPS than the other two at the cost of not being able to stun someone in a single hit. Like I mentioned earlier, the main quality that this mobile suit has compared to other raid units of its cost is how resilient it is. It has 40 beam resistance, combined with 17,000 health and enough custom part slots to host both level 3 anti-ballistic and anti-melee armor, which means you'd be able to shrug off ranged weapons a lot better than other raids of this cost bracket. Also helps that the Hyakushiki has a level 2 emergency evasion system that allows you to roll twice to avoid stuns. Hyakushiki's non-primaries are not that great. First is the Knuckle Sealant Launcher that can stun units that are staying still, which also limits their mobility and prevents them from transforming into flight mode. The Vulcan is rather underwhelming before the buff, since it takes 50 out of 60 rounds it has to stun an opponent. Still, it's pretty useful for finishing off dying enemies when your other weapons are in cooldown. Once you've stunned the enemy with a bazooka or beam rifle, and perhaps further debuff the enemy with a the sealant, then you can enjoy the other strength of the Hyakushiki, which is its melee. Hyakushiki doesn't have that good of a melee strength modifier, but it can do triple hit combos combined with a downswing that hits twice, which is handy to have. The biggest weakness that Hyakushiki has is how slow its boost speed is. You may struggle chasing supports if you don't manage to stun them first, and you don't really have a good ranged stun or damage option if your bazooka or beam rifle and knuckle sealant is in cooldown or reload. This suit is also considered rather subpar for its cost bracket pre-buff, and the availability of better suits like the Gerbera Tetra makes this suit more of a fun option than something you get for its power. Still, despite its suboptimal place in the meta, I still enjoy this mobile suit, and that's all I can say about it without making it too long. I hope this video is useful or at the very least amusing, and if it was, do consider subscribing. And as always, have a great time.